So my request to all of you is, it's a challenge, sir. For me, it's a daily battle. Some rowdy fellow joins BJP, immediately the media will say, rowdy fellow joins Anomaly's leadership, ex-cop who was clean, ex-cop who was a honest cop, Singham of Karnataka, he was there and suddenly Tamil Nadu politics, he is making all rowdies to join BJP. What has BJP happened to under Anomaly? One day one police guy very sadly came to me, sir, I joined the party last year, I, last week, I want to leave now. I said, why do you want to leave? Uh, no integrity in the politics, sir, I want to leave. I said, can I have a cup of coffee? Come. A retired inspector. I said, why? Sir, I sit in the same table where a rowdy fellow was sitting, history seater, sir. Do you know I was a honest cop, sir? And how can I sit with them in politics? And I have to tell them, Aray, sir, sit. Then it will take 10 years for us to understand, Aray, yaar, politics is chemistry, not arithmetic. And my integrity gets tested every day. Because I make critical decisions every day. Uh, so, in one of your answers, uh, you told you wish people with integrity, they enter politics. You told us, uh, the, all of us here enter politics. How do you think we can create a conducive environment where youngsters can enter politics? A uh, very, very deep question. How do you create a conducive environment where youngsters can enter politics? Very tough question also. Politics is very biased even now to a first-timer because politics is costly, so costly. Winning election, very costly, <laughs> very costly. And let us imagine IIT professor is motivated here. I have studied IIT, I have thought in IIT, one of the brilliant minds. Let me get into politics. Many IIT professors and IIM professors are in politics. They are my colleagues also. I keep meeting them. In, different panel discussions like that. And when they come in, you are used to a certain lifestyle. And probably you after 10 years in a corporate life or NGO or think tank, you, when you come, or maybe immediately after passing out from here, if you are very smart, oh, let me start my politics young. I will go a long way if you think like that. You will understand, day one when you enter politics, you will be amazed by the sheer complexity of work you do. For example, today I will tell you my day. Yesterday night I slept by 2.30. I finished something in Tenkasi, which is that end of Tamil Nadu. Public meeting, finished everything. I came to Virudhanagar, stayed somewhere. By the time I finished my meetings, 2.30. Today morning, 7.30, I, I woke up, uh, I got out, got up. I mean, since I left that room, I, I went to a bull taming festival because I have to be there at 8.30. Then the guy told me, Sir, do you want to leave a bull inside? I said, Aray, yaar, what is this? In the TV, I saw only the outside part where the bull comes and people will go, they'll try to tame and I clap my hand, I come. <laughs> I never bothered about what will happen behind it. They said, come sir, we'll go and see what is behind. I went there. And there is a methodology for a bull preparation. I'll tell you how complex a preparing a bull is. Let us talk about politics later. <laughs> a bull is getting prepared, bull is getting prepped up. Because you have, you have to keep that bull charged because it is go inside and, and go like this and run. And uh, they told me, sir, to prep the bull, you have to cut out the thread that is inside that nose. In Tamil, we call mukanangaira. I don't know what is the word in English. Where the thread goes inside his nose, no? You control this, right? With this. And they, he gave me a knife. Don't worry, it is not that small knife. It is a big knife where there was a bamboo pole to it. So the bull is standing down, what you call the wadi wasal. And you have to allow the bull to gain, enter that lane. And he told me, sir, in one microsecond you have to cut it. I said, Aray, how is it possible? They said, if you delay even by one microsecond extra, the bull will just charge. If you don't cut it, you are holding it back. And the tamer will catch the bull. Because the tamer will get, get that split second advantage because the bull just stops before entering. I will try here. He gave me this, I was just praying to God I should not make a mess of myself because people are taking photograph of what I am trying to do. <laughs> and, and the bull was inside, the wadi wasal was ready. And I just kept it in his nose, cut it. And one split second the bull is out, I don't know, he ran. I am telling you, this was my life in the morning. Terrified <laughs> of cutting a thread in the bull's nose. Then I have to do a padayatra in, in Madurai, finish it, public speech, meeting. Then run and catch a flight, came here. The sheer complexity of politics will, I don't know, will overwhelm you. You are sitting in IIT Chennai today, best minds in the morning, in the evening. 
in the morning try to cut that bull's nose that thread so this is the spectrum you have to operate so i would say forget about other things like money and everything first let us let us imagine will this life suit you complexity abuses or positive fighting social media uh, people write bad things about you good things about you so that is why politics is an entirely different field whatever you have done in life will never prepare you for a life in politics for one is like in th- there is a tamil vadivela movie the first one year in politics you are like who punched me who punched me who punched me you are like everybody will be punching you are like fish out of water the two guys like you and me are trained to use the right side of the brain more logic reasoning i hope it is right side not the left side sir left side logic and reasoning and a plus b is equal to this why it is not c um, then it will take 10 years for us to understand are yaar politics is chemistry not arithmetic <laughs> and i would only say god willing let that the life that you choose over the next many years should prepare your mind to come and survive in this complex indian politics where you should be like a buddha oh you spoke bad about me okay because you have to do handshake with them tomorrow morning because we in an alliance <laughs> and then they will be asking press will be asking are yaar last week only both of you abused each other you're like no statements got misinterpreted <laughs> do you think iit guys are prepared for that no i'm just joking but i, I told you when i started short term gains long term gains what you do how you do so this is more critical and important than bothering about some external things like money and uh, how will i survive how will my family survive that is the least of your concern the first is surviving in water because you and me are trained to think in a particular way politics is not that way but integrity with integrity they always say when i read uh, steve was sort of graph i out of biography it's a beautiful book out of my comfort zone is autobiography there is this this uh, forward was written by rahul dravid very beautiful forward so if you read it you you pick up a sense where they say how a form is for a cricketer the form every cricketer even out of form he thinks who oh, i am today's match i'm going to go score a century today tomorrow morning i'll be form you talk to any of your cricketing friends they say no sir i'm not in i'm not out of form for you it appears i'm out of form so this match i'll score a century i'm back in form so he thinks it is always there always there always there so in the book he writes a form is like the sweat in your armpit you never smell it people around you will smell it <laughs> so integrity is like that you think you are always integral because you your mind keeps balancing are yaar i did a short term adjustment because i have to do because it is satriya dharma other person will say why did you compromise are yaar i have to compromise it is for the larger national good hey, why did you compromise this why did you take money from that fellow are yaar i have to take it because the ends are more important than means or means are more important than whichever way you see it so your mind keeps justifying you never know when you lost that integrity am i right sir and nobody can look back at their life and say oh this is the day march 21 2026 i lost my integrity in the morning at 9:17 am sir the board room and nobody in their life till they get caught look at some of the biggest startups in the country the valuation they had which was a beacon of inspiration to us the board meeting to kick the ceo out he was sitting in some part of the world saying that this is not right you see where it takes you as a country startups failing i am somebody who is really bothered when startups fail startups fail because of integrity issues it makes me very sad as a person as a indian citizen startups can fail sir it is okay sir we will we will we'll make second startup will make him to win will make the sister to win failing because of market condition we are a 4 trillion dollar economy sir we will not give two hoots for a startup failing because of market condition we will make sure we support you we will make you a billion dollar company india is is big now we are not some old company where a startups fail we will pump you out and bring but when you fail because of integrity it makes us sad and you are collapsing the ecosystem around you you are taking billions of investors wealth and an investor thinks twice before putting money in indian startup so integrity is something sir we harness assessment 
you never know when you lost it so my uh, suggestion to you is then how do you keep check of your integrity keep your school friends and college friends with you however big you are don't keep your colleagues with you that is okay with with the chai and coffee and it's okay but your school friends and college friends who have seen you as a raw person with zero ego they should tell you hare boss there is some deviation i'm seeing your language is not good and you are no more the same guy i saw you in fourth class and this is the model i follow when i go out all my closest friends are my school and college in the business room it could be my colleagues but this guy is very fearlessly they will tell me for other people i am some state president this guy that guy or oh, if i say this this fellow will not get me a seat in 2024 better i will say anamlai sir you are fantastic you are truly great human being god has made you and created you we are very privileged you are in bjp but my school friend will say i will i didn't i didn't like the way you talk why did you shout at him in the night then i'll be arguing no i didn't shout out it was so stress that stress made me to start out they'll say what nonsense what stress yeah do you think you have more stress than a guy who is standing in the border facing a pakistani do you think you have more stress than that guy because my school friend talks in this language to me why do you allow your stress to shout at somebody in the public calm down i will calm down i say okay some mistake i made so this courage who will speak to you so i would say never lose your integrity because because you don't know when you are losing it because you know when you are losing it at least i can put a defense mechanism around it integrity is always lost in 0.01% 0.02% first compromise 0.03% then 1% in 10 years complete integrity gone i am happy so be a person of integrity it's very very tough to maintain integrity because in indian system being a person with integrity you have to pay a price it doesn't come easy indian system you suddenly go to meeting at 7 o'clock you say why nobody has come at 7 o'clock they'll say no alay yaar 17 i want to come then you will say okay nobody comes at 7 i'll also go at 17 that's how we became late now the hall is not full sir can we go at 5 minutes late no no we came on time i'm not giving this as an excuse or an example <laughs> the professor was on time i was on time we came so the system around you the ecosystem around you will make you a person of less integrity how do you fight it out in the real world when you walk out of the iit campus gate and say oh sir kaam kodi sir has got more selfies 952 to selfie to the next iit director who got one selfie he is a great man he trained me is it true he got more selfies he got more selfies among the iit directors is it true sir so there was a competition among the iit directors that who is more student friendly and for information your professor topped it <laughs> if i am correct he got 992 selfie the next iit director got one <laughs> imagine that guy's plight i am going to fail all of you this time let me i am going to repeat all of you gave me one selfie so he got 992 see 992 so what i am trying to tell is they will prepare you for everything great lectures smartest people yesterday the world bank manager came big funders they must have spoken economics and growth curve and everything very important stuff they must have spoken but when you walk out of the iit gate the moment you walk out i am going to test your integrity the public transport will come late and you'll get frustrated what is this road here part walls here what are these counselors fellows doing eating my money you'll get frustrated then you will say why should i pay tax after 5 years <laughs> then it will auditor ah sir how much money we pay this bloody politicians are eating find a way to cut tax sir put in some tax saving thing 7th year 10th year suppose iit chennai make it big sir what is this round tripping 12th year what where is the cayman island sir 15th year can i put fdi there sir gone so my request to all of you is it's a challenge sir for me it's a daily battle some rowdy fellow joins bjp immediately the media will say rowdy fellow joins anomaly's leadership ex cop who was clean <laughs> ex cop who was a honest cop singam of karnataka he was there and suddenly tamil nadu politics he is making all rowdies to join bjp what has bjp happened to under anomaly and there was a police guy now lot of police guys keep joining the party every week 100 200 
One day one police guy very sadly came to me, sir, I joined the party last year, I, last week, I want to leave now. I said, why do you want to leave? Uh, no integrity in the politics, sir, I want to leave. I said, can I have a cup of coffee? Come. A retired inspector, a cup of coffee. I said, why? Sir, I sit in the same table where one rowdy fellow was sitting, history cheater, sir. Do you know I was a honest cop, sir? And how can I sit with them in politics? And I want to tell him, sorry, sir, sit. Now we have to get into why did he become a rowdy? You see the reformation path. Can you give him an opportunity? Can we tell him no more rowdyism after you join politics? Can we talk bigger philosophical fundas? Because you are entering into the grey area completely. And my integrity gets tested every day. Because I make critical decisions every day. Colleagues, presidents of the district, uh, 250,000 people in different posts in Tamil Nadu BJP party at different levels from the state to the to the mandal level and every day mishandling of money, this, that, complaints. But for me, every day it's a challenge. And if I go by the textbook definition, only I'll be sitting here today. <laughs> you did this, you did that, no, you, you come on time. But if they make decision, they will also remove me. You did this, how do you... So that is a challenge for me. Likewise, it is going to be a challenge for you. So let us not, let us not privilege integrity. And, but let us keep a check on our integrity through the mechanism that you build for yourself. School, college, sometimes colleagues, sometimes spirituality, sometimes dhyana, sometimes meditation, sometimes yoga. What works for you, keep it as a check to check your integrity every day in the morning and evening.